Across the ocean, on an island far, far away, a star is hidden. A star no one in the Mushroom Kingdom knew about, until now. In the legacy of the old pirate king, Gumpa Nanhook, a treasure map was found. It shows the way to a star he kidnapped decades ago. The star is hidden on an island far away, in a cave called the Cooper's Skull Grotto. Mario got informed immediately. The star needs to be saved. Not only is the star probably pretty lonely and sad in this place. No, if he doesn't get saved, Bowser might find him and abuse the star's powers to kidnap Princess Peach once again. A great adventure awaits Mario across the sea. But not only this, rumors told by drunken cheap cheeps at the Mushroom Kingdom port tell that this cave is full of spring ideas as well. So you ready? Let's do this! In order to reach the mysterious island, Mario chartered the only boat available. But the boat is a little bit weird. Not only is its sail made out of coins, the whole boat seems to be made out of springs. Usually this wouldn't bother our small plumber, but the ocean is full of dangerous munchers and the spring boat seems to fend them. Luckily, Mario is trained in the art of munch evasion and so he is able to survive the trip until he reaches the small village close to the Cooper's Skull Grotto. While Mario buys supplies and heads to the entrance of the cave, let's take a look on some other ideas featuring springs. Here our plumber is trapped in a deadly minigame. The bullet blaster bills are standing on top of springs which forces them to travel up and down like crazy. To the right we have a bob arm timer. Mario needs to survive this minigame until the timer expires. But this is easier said than done as this spiny tries everything possible to kill Mario. Here Goombas bounce into the level in endless waves. Our plumber needs to find a way to reach the door in the upper right corner. While the Goombas appear to be enemies at first, they are actually really helpful for Mario. All he needs to do is to time his jumps carefully, so that he can reach the exit. Let's find out how Mario is doing. He traveled through a big part of the pirate island already. Now he only needs to cross this bridge and he should be close to the entrance of the cave. But as it turns out, there is a problem. There is no bridge. Hmm. Our plumber needs to figure a way out to get to the other side of the river. But how? Well, there is an old pirate mechanism hidden somewhere which rebuilds the bridge. All Mario needs to do is to find the well hidden trigger. Our plumber seems to have troubles finding the secret switch. But are you able to spot it? Well, it's the blue platform to the left. If Mario jumps on it, the shell mat gets activated and triggers a P-switch, which allows the hidden bullet blasters to drop down and creates a perfect bridge. Mario is now able to make his way to the old pirate cave. But before you find out what great adventures await him there, let's take a look on some other Mario Maker ideas featuring springs. Here we have a small expert player puzzle. Down here is a spring and a small P-switch trigger mechanic. Mario needs to find a way to transport the spring to the top so that it can trigger the P-switch. In the new Mario Bros Wii style it's possible to wall jump with a spring and a little bit of practice. The spring wall jump can be used to create really tough expert levels and this P-switch trigger setup can be used for puzzle stages if you want to force Mario to bring a spring to a specific place. Springs can be used for expert levels in general. This jump is usually not doable, but with precise timing it's possible to drop the spring while mid-air and to jump off from it before it hits the ground. And now, from our ongoing series, what is the most complicated way to trigger a P-switch? I proudly present the spring solution. While this P-switch trigger machine looks pretty useless at first, it's actually really useful. Kind of. We use it here as a timer for a small spring minigame. Mario needs to jump on top of these springs until the overcomplicated P-switch timer expires and the lava magically transforms into blocks. Some of the spring mechanics are especially useful if you want to create a puzzle level. Here the spring on top of the thwomp blocks the small path on the top. If Mario wants to get through he needs to find a way to get rid of the spring. But whenever he enters the door the spring gets replaced on top of the thwomp. 
Hmm, it looks like there's an evil Bowser curse, forcing the spring to regain its position whenever the room is loaded. But how is Mario able to break this curse? Well, taking the spring with him helps, as it forces the game to not place the spring where it was in order to prevent evil spring duplication and allows our plumber to proceed. This idea makes heavy use of tracks. A dangerous spring wall is coming closer and closer. If Mario gets trapped in between a bullet blaster bill and a spring, he gets pushed behind the trampolines and is forced to restart the level. Alright, Mario finally reached the Koopa's Skull Grotto. Right in time, I'm sure the star can't stand another day without company. But again, there seems to be a problem. How to enter the cave? It looks like the old Pirate King blocked the entrance to the cave to make sure his precious treasure is safe from intruders. There has to be another hidden mechanic somewhere, but where? Hmm, maybe there is a way for Mario to reach this hidden spring to the left. Oh, there's a hidden vine, of course. I wonder how they always get these vines into the blocks. It should be easy for Mario to figure out the solution of this puzzle now that he has the spring. Although, it seems as if he still has no idea how the entrance mechanic works. Have you figured it out already? Well, the thwomp is the solution. All our plumber needs to do is to put the spring on his big stony head and to wait while the cave entrance mechanic unfolds. In case you're wondering what happened when the thwomp left the screen, it triggered this little mechanic. In the questionnaire block is a spring. Now our plumber is finally in the secret grotto. But is the star just waiting here to be picked up by Mario? Or are there more dangerous traps and evil mechanics hidden in this place? Well, of course there are and it looks like Mario just triggered the first one. These spring towers are standing on top of conveyor belts and are the only platforms Mario can safely stand on. While this on its own sounds pretty dangerous, the saw blades, which are growing all over the place, make things really deadly. What a horrible trap! It looks like the old Captain Nunhook was really creative. But Mario is a master platformer. Many would give up facing a situation like this, but not our Italian plumber. A star is in need, and no matter how dangerous it might be, it's Mario's job to save him. And Mario is really good at saving stars. He saved several hundred just over the last 20 years. Mario is definitely close to the star now. But before we take a look at the last safety measure, which guards the star, let's talk about some other ideas with springs. For this idea we use something which I like to call a bomb loader. The bomb loader looks like this and traps Mario in between as soon as he enters it. It loads the objects below Mario so that they are all out of sync in the same interval. Here they load platforms so that they aren't all on the top at the same time. Now Mario has to make his way back to the right, but unfortunately for him the springs at the bottom push the bullet blaster bills upwards. This wouldn't be a problem if the ceiling wasn't made out of deadly spikes. So Mario has to time his actions carefully in order to survive this. Here we use springs on tracks to create some challenging but non-lethal obstacles, which we can throw into Mario's path. Tracked springs are really nice obstacles, as they usually don't kill Mario if he fails the jump, but force him to retry it. If you stack towers of winged springs, you can create some pretty cool obstacles too. The level you're currently seeing was one of the first stages I ever created when I got Mario Maker. While the level is nothing spectacular, there are some little ideas in it. For example, jumping over winged springs while riding a skeleton roller coaster or dodging enormous spring towers, which try to throw Mario into lava pits. So let's head back to Mario's star rescue mission. He made his way through the whole cave. He can already feel the star. He's definitely behind this closed door. But this door 
is guarded. Not only is a Monty immobilized Kamek shooting towards Mario, no, the whole arena is jumping up and down. And not only this, the key got split up into four red coins, which even Mario can't reach. He would be trapped in this room forever, if it wasn't for the shell spawning pipe to the left. Our plumber needs to concentrate on to throw these shells precisely, so that he can get the four key coins. And finally, reach the star. Mario did it. He found the long forgotten pirate treasure. He found the star. Here we go! Now the Mushroom Kingdom is safe and the star happy again. And our plumber only needs to find a way to get out of this cave alive. Mamma mia! But that's a different story. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and maybe you feel especially pirate today and want to subscribe as well. Sorry that it took me so absurdly long to make this video. I was moving and a lot of real life stuff was happening, but I hope that I'm soon able to get a somewhat regular schedule back. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon with even more tips, tricks and ideas and pirates in Super Mario Maker. Goodbye.